guys, I'm Ozzy Bill and welcome to episode 5 of the World Tour with Spot Boys in Peru. And we do have a league, which is good because I wasn't sure what was happening. There's an opening stage, I'm assuming there's going to be a closing stage at some point. And today we begin that opening stage against Cesar Vallejo. Now we played these guys in the uh, Copa de Torne thingy here and we beat, them, we beat them twice. I think we beat them twice. We did beat them twice, um, despite the fact they're in the Copa Libertadores representing uh, Peru. So not quite sure what to make of that. Then we played Union... Horial, I don't think we've played them before. No, we haven't. So this will be a new, that'll be a new experience for us. Now, if we have a look at the league situation here, I do not understand what this copy uh, Copper Mover Star is. I thought it was going to be a combined the Tornio and and league, but it, that's all reset back to zero. Our our <laughs> our expectation in the league is just don't be outclassed. So fair enough. But in the Copper movie star, we expected to be mid-table. Now, they would appear to be very conflicting um, object objections, uh, ob objectives, objections, objectives. Um, I don't understand what this thing is. I'll show you the rules. If anybody has any idea, please do let me know. Because there appears to be no actual rules. It appears to be just like a, just an everything. Like the Copper movie star doesn't have its own rules. So I don't, I don't know what it is. Um, I mean, we can just try and finish mid-table in it and then see what happens, I guess. But anyway, we'll just see, we'll just see what happens. Um, our, our Deportes team that was in our top of our group in the, in the Tornillo, they did end up going on and winning it. So that, that's, you know, form shows that we were in the tougher, uh, tougher uh, group there. So... Yeah, let's just get on with the game because I am rambling on a little bit here. This is the team to start our first game in the first division. It's Acosta in goal. It's Cosio, it's Mosquera, it's Emerson and Fernandez as a back four. Onkoy with Mongolan and Karuga in uh, in midfield. It's Perez down the right. It's Vasco Fry, the best name in world football down the left. And it is Castro going up top. All right, so it looks like we're matching up essentially formation-wise, man for man. Uh, now they did. This is the yeah, they did sign. This is they signed Ortiz from us. This team. So um, he's if he's at right back, he's not going to be getting forward. I wouldn't have thought because he was not uh, not the best in terms of an attacking player. All right, go out there and enjoy yourselves, boys. It's our first game in the league. We're just going to try and do our best here, and hopefully nick a few goals as well. You didn't really miss anything. Um, it was just sort of just waiting for a league to be drawn. Um, we couldn't make any signings because the transfer window had closed. So. You know, this is, we are where we are kind of thing. We, we are where you left us. Um, yeah, I don't, and again, I don't really know what to what to expect. Because I, as I said last episode, on our day, we're quite good. You know, we can beat, I don't know if we can beat anybody. We can certainly beat most teams. We just need to be consistent, I think. Uh, but that should come the more we play, the more they get used to our style. Oh, it's a goal from Castro! 1-0 to the boys. Vamos, boys. Vamos. Well, that was unexpected. They just didn't clear their lines, did they? And uh, Castro was just there, just tapped it in. It was just poaching. Um, decent ball in from Mongol. And it was a tackle. And then a decent ball in from Fernandez. Low. The defender didn't really have much. You, could, you probably have to clear that behind almost, don't you? Um, but he just put it on a tee. And Castro smashed it home. And that's what we like to see. 1-0. We're at home. So you'd like to think that we could perhaps get a win here uh, to start off the league campaign. Uh, can we go again from the throat? It's Perez, our superstar right winger. Now this could be problems. This could. Oh, I thought they were going to leave it for each other there. Mosquera on the ball, on for Karuga, and he goes wide there for Fernandez. Headed down for Perez. Can he get across in? It's a good one. It's fast. Go Fry. Two 0 Fifteen minutes in. We're going to win the league. That is just how good we can be. Now this I said. This is the team. I don't know if their team got picked apart from one year to the next. I think that can happen, especially in smaller um, South American leagues. You know, you have a good team and they go off to Brazil and Argentina and, and, and Europe as well. So maybe they've been picked apart just a little bit since last season. But if this is a team that qualified for the Copa Libertadores, then bring it on, boys, because this is looking good. Um, we don't want to get too carried away. It is only 2-0. They score a goal and then we're all very nervous again, aren't we? So let's try and keep it calm. Get creative, boys. Um, it's been a relatively even game though. We haven't certainly haven't been outclassed. We haven't seen anything from them yet by way of sort of attacking intent. So that's all well and good. Let's maybe give them some encouragement here. That's frustrated them. All right, no more encouragement. Um, maybe they saw it to be patronising. I don't know. All right, 
They've gone more attacking. This is where we can struggle. If teams go attacking against us, I think we panic a little bit. Fernandez for Perez. Go on, Perez. Perez. Oh, it's a good, that's a penalty. That could be harsh. That could be harsh, but we'll take it. It's Cossio. Now, he does have a good record so far from penalties. I always just feel like it just means he's one closer to the miss. Cossio. Cossio! Down the middle. 3-0 before the break. That is better than I could ever have wished. Wow. Go on, boys. Cossio. So, it's... No, we saw him on a free transfer, didn't we? Did we saw any from these guys? I can't remember now. I'll have to check. I'm pretty sure... No, did I? No, I saw any from Sporting Cristal, didn't I? We'll check at halftime. We'll check at halftime. 3-0 at the break, though. That is not what I was expecting. I was hoping we'd get a win. But I was not expecting 3-0. Now, where did we sign him from? We signed him from... Yeah, from Sporting Cristal. I thought so. Um... For forty-five thousand uh, pounds. Well, right. What do we say to this? I think we're just going to say, "Well done." Um, you know what? Let's say, "Don't get complacent." We've all seen our defending in the uh, Tornio, um, so we don't want to. We don't want to sort of get ahead of ourselves here. They don't want to start counting chickens yet because there's foxes about. Um, all right. Let's tell Mongolian here not to get himself sent off. Um, Anything else, we'll tell these guys there's more to come from them. And Emerson being stressed out is a small concern, but we'll keep an eye on it. We do have Willie Diaz on the bench, but I don't really trust him, to be honest. Um, I think we are caught sort of in a position where we have two good centre-backs and then a couple of average ones. Castro's nicked that, and we should be able to pick this up with Fernandez. Fernandez is a long way forward, but he is an attacking uh, player, so that's okay. Vasco Fry in for Karuga. Out for Perez. What can he do? Look at you. Look at your wingers. So much space. Karuga goes to the left side, though. Cossio's there. Can he pull it back? It's there. Perez! Oh, not the post! Perez again! Oh, it's still there, is it? No, free kick's been given. Perez. I think he hit the post twice there. Let's give him some praise. I think we've earned that. Um, the only person that's not particularly playing well is Mongolian on a booking as well. So we might consider his future in this game. Corner comes in. It's another goal. It's Castro with a second. It's questionable goalkeeper. We're scoring from corners now. This is absolutely incredible. 4-0. Opening day of the league. We're gonna be we're gonna be top of the table. Unbelievable. Oh, it's a good header, isn't it? Maybe I think you'd be harsh to blame the keeper for that. It was right in at the near post. Um Mongolan on a booking is worrying me a little bit. He's not playing particularly well. So let's bring Miguel Martinez on, I think. Since we're playing, yeah, we'll bring him on because we want to try and get these under 21 minutes done as well. We're going to do it relatively easily, uh, as it turns out. But I'd rather just have them out of the way and not have to worry about it, to be honest. Um, we'll just keep praising, really. I mean, this is absolutely insane. Cossio now over a free kick. Oh, took too much whip on that one. Um, if you are enjoying this too, guys, make sure you hit thumbs up because this does I don't know how often this is going to happen. So... <laughs> We certainly haven't seen us being this free scoring in the tournier. Well, we have, but usually we're conceding five at the other end when we're scoring four. Good ball out for Fernandez. Can he get another cross in? It's easy for the keeper, that one. Is the highlight going to continue here? That surely wasn't it. Can we win this ball, please, boys? Oh, they've got a striker lurking. We've let him have it, too. We've let him have it. We've kind of got players around. Oh, we've left a man open. And is the incredible choke on... Uh, it's the long ball forward. One of them had to go and win that. They both kind of stood there and looked at it. Everybody's crowded the ball, and we just didn't pick up the man running through from midfield. You can't really blame Fernandez for that because, you know, he, he had his man. He was he was where he needed to be, I think. Uh, that's just taken the shine off the game, hasn't it? But surely we're not going to go and throw this away now. We'll give him some more praise. Let's make some subs here, actually. Let's bring... He's on a hat trick. I don't want to take him off on a hat trick. Let's bring the young left winger on. And let's bring on. Let's bring on Andia because he's potentially a really good player for us. And we'll take what we'll do is we'll take off Perez. Uh, rest the key man and um, switch them around. Even the goalkeeper's playing well. I mean, that's just how good we've been. Um. I'd rather they didn't score here, to be honest. I, I don't think they're going to they're going to be able to come back, but I don't want to I don't want to test that theory. From honest, there's a good ball, is it? No, just not quite. 
not quite, it needed to be it needed to be wider, didn't it? You could see what he was going for there, but he kind of didn't really hit it to anybody. Emerson should pick that up easily. Is this going to be some sort of horrible mistake? Acosta, Acosta clears it nicely. It's headed away. Can we get second ball, please? Karuga's there. Fernandez can't quite win that though. And oh, what has happened there? Have they gone three up top? Um, we'll give this a tighten up. I, I'm sus suspicious that they've gone three up top there. Uh, oh, I don't, yeah, they must have because Fernandez is sort of marking someone in midfield. Um, all right, I did pause that, didn't I? He should be not marking yeah right mid. So they have they've gone three up top. They've gone three four three. So we'll give them that one. They well done, boy. You should trick me. Uh, we'll just fix this though now, so that's not going to happen again. And we might also just compact ourselves up a little bit. Uh, we will just look to regroup. We'll slow things down. Uh, we'll still exploit the flanks because if they've you know if they've gone three at the back, we, they'll definitely be we can draw the, sort of their centre backs out. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, oh, there's still time here. There's still time. Are we going to throw this all away? Come on, boys, get to that. Oh, what, a, what was that? What was that? Oh, I'm getting nervous now. I'm really, really getting nervous. Away! Oh, Jesus. Um, I did shut tighten up, didn't I? All right, this should be it now. <laughs> we have, we've done it. We made hard work of it. We let them back into the game, kind of. Um, but even if they score here, they're not scoring two. So that's a, a promising start, let's say. It was looking so, so good. And we did kind of throw it away a little bit at the end. Um, but... We'd take, we would have taken 4-2 before the game started, wouldn't we? We definitely would have taken that. So well done, lads. Good win for us. And on we go. On goal and set for ways increase. That's fine. He's worthy of that. Although it wasn't his best game there, was it? Castro with the double. Well done to him. And um, yeah, let's have a look at what that does to the league table. Are we top? Are we ever? Look at that. It's only been two games played, but we are still top. They can't take that away from us. Uh, anyway, guys, wait right there. We'll be back for our second game against Union Horial. Okay, welcome back. Now, we are indeed top of the league after the first round of games. Excellent stuff. And we're now going to play Union, Horial, and they, they lost their first game. So they are down there. Now, something has happened in the transfer market since last game. Um, nothing uh, nothing immediate, but come August 1st, we have a new goalkeeper. Saul Salinas, I think you'll agree his guy is an upgrade. We're paying 150 grand for him, potentially rising to 230. Handling's good. Reflexes are good. Uh, agility, balance, all the sort of vital things are there. Um, I do like the vision. What I don't particularly like is the kicking and the passing. We, if we can work on that, if we can get those up to sort of 10-ish levels, we have a really, really good passing goalkeeper in our hands as well. First touch could use a bit of work as well if we're going to use him in that sort of role. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. But I think we are very definitely, only 21, but I think we've very definitely got a nice little upgrade at, uh, at goalkeeper. So that's something to look forward to come the opening of the transfer window in August. We're currently at May 20th, so we've got a little bit of time to go. I think that'll probably be a closing stage um, that we'll start to see him in the team. This is the lineup that we're sending out for this game. We are resting or we're changing one or two things just to try and keep players fresh because we do have another game coming up. This is the Wednesday. We have another game coming up on the Saturday, so I don't want to find ourselves in a situation where our entire first team is, is match fatigued. So Acosta goes in goal again. Cosio, uh, Mosquera, Emerson, and Andia comes in to play right back. Uh, Onkoy with Mongolan and Karuga in midfield. We'll go with Perez and Fry down the wings again with Castro up top. It's it's difficult to change too much up there when we scored four goals last game. So we can see again they're lining up in what seems to just be the Peruvian default uh, formation, doesn't it? Um, what do we say to this now? Um, what I don't want to happen is to get complacent here. Um, show me what you can do to keep our run going. Yeah, I think we might go with that. Sometimes, if I feel like if you have a really good result in the first game, you know things can drop off quite quickly in the second game. The complacency sets in really, really quickly. Um, so I don't really want to send them out just to enjoy the game, because that might come back and hurt us if we do that. Um, but we'll see how we go here. Um, I mean, having beaten that team in the first game, a, a team, as I said, was in the Copa Libertadores this, this season. They're playing in it. Um... 
you do kind of think we should win this one, but it's away from home, and we are still a promoted team. We do need to remember that as well. Um, yeah, I'm interested to see how Andy goes here at right back, because he was really, really good last season. Uh, last season, at the start of the season, I should say. Um, but his form really did drop off. So hopefully, having had a couple of weeks out now, he'll uh, respect his place in the team a little bit more and play a bit better. Castro's not playing particularly well. Let's try demand more. This is kind of what I was fearing would happen. We're doing okay. It's not that we're not doing okay here, but here's a highlight. Can we put our nerves to rest here? On Koi, nice ball in for Karuga. Karuga out to Andia. Getting forward. Can he find someone in the box? Back post. Fry. It's there. That's no. It's going to go down the other end now. Emerson wins the header, but it's not particularly good. And we find ourselves under a little bit of pressure here, I think. Can we go and win this ball back, please? Oh, it's a good pass. We're far too open. They've walked it straight through the middle. And Acosta with a crucial, crucial fingertip on that one. That was an important intervention, wasn't it? Let's give it another demand more here. Come on, boys. We're better than this. All right, here we go. Cosio over a free kick. Cosio! Oh! Didn't quite have enough bend on that one to bring it back in. Uh, we're dominating this game. There's not too much to worry about, I don't think. It's just the match ratings. So the, the, the team as a, as, sort of as a unit are playing well, but individually we're not quite at it. So let's give it a... Just a calm, I'm not happy with your performance. Yeah, I think I like that. We'll get some passionate... There's more to come from you boys here. Uh, no need to panic by any means. Uh, we're not doing that badly. But you feel like this team is there for the taking. And if we play anything near our ability or our potential, we should be able to go and and uh, and put this team away. I am wondering if Rolando Castro, if he's still looking nervous. We do have Cantoro on the bench. He's one of our five foreign players. So... We need to get something from him, and it might be a game for him, perhaps. Let's give it a get creative. Um, we'll give it a little bit of time here. The one good thing we now, we are starting to get some scouting reports in for local players, um, both South American and, and Peruvian. Uh, we're going to have to take off Castro here. Unfortunately, he is not coming up this game. So we'll take him off. We'll bring on Cantoro. Like I said, we do need to try and get something from him because otherwise we can't have our, we only have five foreign players. If they're not amongst our five best players, then we really do need to look to ship them out. Acosta with a decent save there. Um, let's give it a show some passion, perhaps. Mosquera is playing well, which is good. Um, Karuga's looking a little tired. Now we do have this kid on the bench who is essentially his backup. I'll have a quick look at his attributes there. He's not right now. We're teaching him to play deeper in midfield, but you can see potentially a five-star player. So we do need to give him some game time if he's going to improve. Um, all right, we need to look at changing things here. I'm wondering, let's not exploit the flanks, perhaps. Uh, and we might look... We'll take it back to shorter, but we'll look to go more attacking, which will naturally make the passing a little bit more direct. Come on, boys. Let's try and encourage, perhaps. Oh, it's a really disappointing second game, isn't it? We looked so good going forward in that first one. And now we're looking nervous and anxious. And can we get a late winner? Oh, it's not the post, is it? Oh, the kid has almost gone and won it for us in stoppage time. Um, Well, you know, four points from our first two games. That's not the worst, but... Yeah, I mean, this, this team only got beaten 1-0 in the first game, but we should have won that game. We had some chances. We just didn't take them, did we? Uh, I'm going to... Do I say unlucky? I think unlucky, perhaps. I think the fact that we had certain nervous players there, team talk wasn't perhaps the best. So we'll live and learn on that one. We'll just have to keep telling them just to relax, go out there and, and play your game. But you do wonder if, come the end of the season, that's going to be two big drop points for us. Still early, early days, but we are still top, although games at hand uh, by... You imagine at least one of the teams behind us is going to win. So we're not going to be top for long, but that's that's all right, isn't it? Um, so that's it for today, though, guys. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, welcome and make sure you're subscribing. We will be back tomorrow for... We'll come back... Um, let's come back for maybe... Uh, the Chris Sporting Crystals, they're one of the bigger teams, aren't they? So let's come back for Rael... 
Galaseo and Sporting Cristal. Uh, we'll sort of play through a little bit of time here. Uh, almost the entire month of June. Is it a World Cup year, 2026? It will be a World Cup year, won't it? So there'll be a World Cup taking place as well. So we might have a look at how that plays out as well. Uh, that's all for tomorrow, though, guys. If you have enjoyed it, as I said, make sure you hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Thank <music> you.